Alice Nomri here from LazyGamer.net. I'm here with Chris Barrett, game director on Destiny's latest expansion, Rise of Iron. Uh, Chris, thanks for joining us today. Uh, Rise of Iron is a, it's a big expansion for Destiny, following on from uh, The Taken King. Um, and I seem to consider that The Taken King was a bit of a, you know, introducing new players back into Destiny and also providing a lot of content for the uh, veterans, uh, you know, still online, still shooting, still raiding. Uh, how does Rise of Iron kind of fit into that topography? Yeah, so the one of the big things that players have really been asking for is new content. And so we really wanted to make sure that we, uh, you know, checked off all the boxes. We have a brand new raid, we have a new campaign, we have a new zone to explore, we have new strikes, we have new gear and weapons, so new crucible modes and maps. So um, this is really about delivering as much new content as we can in this really, uh, uh, you know, I think compelling thematic package, this mm -hmm. uh, story of the Iron Lords and, you know, what happened to them and, you know, who's Lord Saladin and who's the, what's this Iron Banner uh, 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 what's the lore behind that? So yeah. um, I think, uh, yeah, uh, getting as much new content as we can um, and uh, yeah, exploring this whole new zone I think is mm. going to be really exciting for players. And The Taken King, uh, it was lauded a lot for its focus on narrative, um, something that people felt was lacking from the core Destiny experience. Um, does Rise of Iron kind of build on that? I know you've said that there's this whole new story with the Lords of Iron and that, that players can explore, so tell us a bit about that. Sure. So, I mean, we're uh, we're always, you know, want to tell the best story we can. I think we have this unique opportunity in uh, Rise of Iron to take something that players are familiar with. Mm -hmm. You know, they've heard these names of these weapons that they've taken into the Crucible, like Felwinter's Lie and, yeah. you know, Ephrodite's Spear and these things that players sort of have, uh, you know, uh, got this history with and yeah. now they can delve deeper into who, you know who are these characters what happened to Yolder you know what uh, uh, and so uh, Rise of Iron is all about uncovering that story and that past mm -hmm. um, as players uh, become an Iron Lords themselves an Iron Lord themselves oh, awesome okay and uh, I mean you're talking about weapons and their previous owners mm -hmm. obviously there's going to be a lot of uh, new gear a lot of new weapons that players can experiment with mm -hmm. um, and we've got the the return of like Galagorn coming back and he's yep. like black iron uh, what are some of the, the coolest uh, weapons that players can expect to find, especially in some of the things like the new raid? Yeah, so you'll be seeing uh, whole new armor sets uh, and weapon sets that are themed around the raid, like we've done before. So um, that'll be uh, uh, you know all around this Siva technology and mm -hmm. what the Fallen are doing um, in the in the Plague Lands. We've also got a whole new set of armor and gear and weapons uh, themed around the Iron Lord. So you see in some of the trailers, like it's got the fur collars yeah. and the and the horns, and so we're really excited about that medieval mm -hmm. uh, theme. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that we're bringing in. Um, on top of that, yeah, we've got brand new exotics, brand new uh, uh, weapons, armor. Um, you know, we'll be unveiling more of that over the over the summer months. Mm -hmm. So look for that. Um, but yeah, we're bringing back Galahorn, You know, a yeah. fan favorite, and uh, yeah, with the uh, the whole new black, uh, the iron uh, you aesthetic. Know. Yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah, it's it pretty looks really good. Yeah, yeah, cool. So you you're returning to Earth uh, in Rise of Iron, and um, you're going to have these new new locales. I mean, there's there's this really cool theme with winter and snow and you know like you said these fur coats um, what was kind of the inspiration behind this kind of aesthetic shift in the way Destiny looks because it's not so much sci-fi and like you said it's a little more medieval yeah so I mean Destiny is really about playing with those different themes of sci-fi and uh, um, you know sort of fantasy and finding mm -hmm. the right balance and one of the things that's great about Destiny is this potential for you know these heroes these myths these legends and so Iron Iron Lords or the Iron Lords and Iron Banner are one of those examples of you know this great myth that happens happened long ago in the golden age yeah. and so um, we really wanted to take you know take that theme and take some of the you know the the feeling of you know winter and you know the the wall collapsing and mm. you know these sort of things that uh, you know players are familiar with uh, you know things like uh, old Russia but then turn them on their head change them to yeah, come yeah. back to this place where they were first you know they first started their journey yeah. in destiny and change it completely yeah. have it covered in snow have these things collapse what has changed so players when they first begin will be able to sort of venture back to some of those spaces and sort of uh, yes yeah, see what's changed and what's mm -hmm. happened so time you know time moving on and, and yeah. our story moving on yeah. while at the same time exploring some of those so no, it's old not the stories. same place you started at you know a year and a bit ago you yeah know what exactly I mean? yep okay yep. awesome and just as a final bit uh, I mean Rise of Iron is, is the next big expansion for Destiny and uh, Destiny keeps going on 
So how does it kind of fit into what Destiny is trying to achieve as a whole? I know Activision's spoken about a sequel in the near future, um, maybe even more content packs. Uh, is Rise of Iron the last big type of content burst that is expected for this first core Destiny experience? Right, so um, we're, we're definitely focused on delivering a great expansion in, in September. Um, we'll continue to, uh, you know, be releasing live events and stuff like that over the course of uh, um, the coming year. But uh, right. we're really excited to really, uh, you know, focus on this expansion and deliver uh, what players, I think, have really been asking for. And that's a lot of new adventures to have in the, in the Destiny universe. Yeah, and there's a lot of people still playing, so I think they'll be very appreciative yeah. of that come September. So, um, yeah, Rise of Iron is out on Xbox One, PS4. Uh, on September 21st, you said, yeah? September 20th. September yep. 20th, yeah. Fantastic, awesome. Thank you very much for staying in with you and enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks a lot, you too. Cheers.